Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Imagine vessels squeezing through narrow passages. Indeed, precision and finesse are paramount. Even the slightest deviation can result in a nightmare situation. In today's episode, we will uncover how some innovative training techniques prepare sailors to navigate the world's tightest and trickiest canals. Le site de Port Revel est dans la formation et les essais avec des modèles réduits. The use of RC ship models is one noteworthy training strategy. Ça soit formation maritime, formation anti-piraterie, formation sécurité, voilà tous les types de formation. Short for the radio controlled ship model, an RC ship is a replica of a real life vessel typically crafted from materials like fiberglass or wood. La flotte de Port Revel est composée de 12 modèles qui peuvent se décomposer en 25 navires différents en changeant un petit peu des, des paramètres de nos maquettes. Designed to be operated remotely through radio frequencies, these models mimic the details of their full-scale counterparts, featuring scaled-down hulls, deck structures, and even miniature equipment. It is a perfect blend of seaman crafts and technological advancement. In addition to the structure, the RC ship model features a propulsion system that drives it through the water. Both electric motors and miniature internal combustion engines can be employed. Utilizing advanced radio systems, these models can be controlled from a distance to perform lifelike movements and maneuvers. The engineering behind these models involves a deep understanding of hydrodynamics, electronics, and remote control systems. In contrast to simulation ship models, RC ship models are significantly larger and can be operated in artificial basins and outdoor facilities. Some are so sizable that they challenge the imagination, blurring the line between model and reality. As they navigate these scale model vessels through the facility's canals and locks, pilots and tugmasters enhance their maneuvering skills. The training builds confidence and expertise. They are now ready to navigate the most treacherous waters swiftly, safely, and efficiently. Wow. 
pour qu'il soit plus en confiance, il soit plus performant dans son métier, dans sa passerelle. Et donc, in fine, c'est le but premier de Port-Revel, que, in fine, on augmente sa sécurité dans le cadre de sa profession, et donc on augmente la sécurité maritime dans les espaces de manœuvre. One of the challenging waterways is the Panama Canal. Not only was the canal constructed with a remarkable feat of engineering, but it also saved the shipping industry in global economy, hundreds of thousands of miles of journeys around Cape Horn. Inaugurated in 1914, the canal was built on the Isthmus of Panama. Over 70,000 laborers worked tirelessly to transform the narrow strip of land into a bridge linking the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. A 50-mile route with three sets of locks and dams makes up the canal. Situated at an elevation of 85 feet above sea level, this man-made reservoir holds a substantial volume of water. This reservoir's capacity serves as a dual purpose, facilitating the transit of ships across the isthmus and supplying the necessary water volume to operate the locks effectively. However, As a new generation of container ships, which is 1.5 times bigger than the Panamax, evolved, new standards became a necessity. Thus, the Panama Canal Authority launched the third set of locks project to serve the Neo-Panamax vessels. After its inauguration in 2016, the project doubled the capacity of the Panama Canal by adding a new lane of traffic, allowing for a more significant number of ships. As a result, the canal now accommodates around 13,000 ships annually. Crossing the Panama Canal involves several well-calculated and orchestrated steps. An intricate mechanism centered around locks and gravity operates the Panama Canal. The canal locks are a series of chambers that serve as stairs. locks elevate or lower vessels to match the varied water levels between the oceans. Each lock chamber features massive gates that seal water in or out. Complementing the system, The canal employs powerful electric locomotives, also known as mules, to assist in guiding and steadying the vessels as they move through the locks. These locomotives run on tracks alongside the lock chambers and are equipped with strong cables.
The cables are attached to the ship, allowing the mules to exert precise control over the vessel's position and movement within the narrow lock confines. The whole process of transiting the Panama Canal requires eight to 10 hours. It is a vital shortcut that facilitates 6% of global trade. Situated in Egypt, Another arduous shortcut significantly impacting the global economy emerges, the Suez Canal. The canal's strategic positioning dramatically shortens the journey between the Mediterranean and the Indian Ocean by thousands of miles compared to the previous route around the Cape of Good Hope. In 2021, Evergreen Ever Given, a 1,312 foot long mega ship, crippled the maritime trade for six days. Strong winds ran the ship aground on March 23rd. A collaborative effort was mandatory. The rescue process began with seven tugboats and the removal of fuel and ballast to lighten the ship's weight, reducing pressure on the canal's bed. Additionally, excavators and a special dredger, Mature, were deployed to remove sand and mud around the ship's bow. With the ship still not budging, an international emergency was declared. Marine pilots stood at the forefront of the obstruction alongside other stakeholders. When a ship approaches the harbor, one or two local marine pilots depart with their pilot vessel and join it. These individuals play a pivotal role in ensuring smooth maritime operations. Unlike the ship's captain, these maritime pilots possess intimate knowledge of the local waters, tides, and navigational challenges. Taking the helm alongside the ship's crew, marine pilots meticulously guide the vessel through intricate passages, tight channels, and congested ports. Their profound understanding ensures safe maneuvering even in adverse conditions. As these brave mariners steer through narrow canals and congested harbors, their training bridges the gap between centuries old seafaring wisdom and cutting edge navigational tools. That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content.